We would be honored if you would join us. Everyone's invited, of course. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Just want to do a little bit of an overview video this time. Um, we just got the news within the last day or two that uh, the 2003 Clone Wars by Gendi Tartakovsky is making its way to Disney+. Plus. Um, now this is absolutely huge because uh, these DVDs have been out of print for a long time. Um, they're not the easiest to get. You can find them on eBay, but whether you want to pay some of the asking prices, that's up to the individual, of course. So, um, it's for the last you know ten plus years, it's it's almost felt like Lucasfilm has completely ignored this um, as a historical document and something that the fans absolutely loved. Um, they decided to George decided to go in a different direction with the three D animated series, which is absolutely incredible. Don't get me wrong, but there's something about this series that's just I don't know what it is. It's a little bit more arty, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it. Um, there's still some parts from this that I still keep up in my head canon. So, um, yeah, I wanted to sort of just share a couple of thoughts and have a look at some of the figures and toys and stuff that's come out based on this series um, over the years. And uh, we're still sort of getting some remnants today in the Black series. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, the other big news is that Dirge the uh, bounty hunter from this series has now been recanonized in the Marvel comics. So um, that's awesome. I can't wait to read about him um, and see how they're going to incorporate him into the new canon because he was a total badass. <laughs> um, he was totally uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's creation um, as like a, I don't know, he was a brutal bounty hunter. Um, so we'll get to take a look at those figures, but uh yeah, I just I, I love the art style of this series. Um, there wasn't a heap of dialogue, but it was all in the actions. Um, you know, just some of the incredible moments, like Anakin and Asajj fight, Ventress fighting on Yavin in the rain, and they're both just holding lightsabers out, and it starts to rain, and you get like the sizzle of the water hitting the blades. It's just incredible. Um, so once it hits Disney Plus, if you haven't checked out this series, I definitely recommend it. If you can't wait till it hits Disney Plus in the next week or two, I can't remember the date. Um, it is available on YouTube as like an hour and a half complete video. Um, so you can watch it all in one, just one big hit. So anyway, let's jump over here and take a look at some of the toys and stuff that's come out over the years. All right, so here we go. And I just wanted to point out that my collection is far from complete. It's not even close. Um, there's a lot of figures from multiple lines. Um, and yeah, I've only really just touched the surface with some of these. So uh, most recently is this version of Obi-Wan Kenobi um, from the Black Series. I did do a head swap and put the Attack of the Clones uh, head on there for, you know, it's a, it's more accurate than the Revenge of the Sith sort of style. But um yeah, decided to uh, put that on there, and uh, I think it's greatly improved. I do really, really love this figure. You can sort of see his uh, three and three quarter counterpart down here. He kind of looks like an angry Scotsman. <laughs> it's not the best head sculpt, but uh, it is what it is. So it's uh, fine. If you've got a spare, another spare episode to Obi Wan, uh, the Vintage Collection one, um, you know you could easily do a head swap, but. Uh, this one came with a giant oversized phase one helmet that you can uh, that you can put on. It gives him a bit of a fat head. So one of the sublines they did was this extremely animated, uh, based on the animation itself. And these are the only four I have. I would it's, it's just a collection that has always been on the back burner for me. Um, I would love to get a hold of you know the rest of the set. Um, they're not super articulated or anything. They've got some. They've got minimal articulation, but it's more about the style. It's more about the sort of interpretation of the art style. Um, I don't have any of the correct lightsabers because they come with like a really flaring blade. Um, if you track them down online, but yeah, I, I've sort of just picked these up loose at toy fairs and stuff over the years. Um, I really like this look for Anakin. This is from the fight with Ventress. Um, I'd really love to get the Ventress figure based on this animation. We've got an Obi Wan. Yeah, they sort of went through a bit of a change uh, into the second season where uh, Obi Wan had slightly shorter hair, and uh, yeah, Anakin had the longer hair, more of his Revenge of the Sith look. 
It's interesting that it came out in uh, 2003, so a lot of those things were carried over into uh, Revenge of the Sith, including the introduction of the terrifying, or well, at one point terrifying, General Grievous. So, um, yeah. All right, so here we go. We've got the big, uh, big landing craft here. Um, L-A-A-T. <laughs> L-A-A-A-T. Um, I've seen a couple of random clone pilots in there. They're not from the series. Um, actually, this guy might be. I can't remember what he's from. He was from a uh, clone three-pack or something. I, I honestly can't remember. But, uh, yeah, this, this ship itself fetches a uh, pretty penny these days. Um, I remember picking it up quite quite cheap. Uh, just in here. He's, he's, he's well and truly stuck in there. We have Phase 1 Arc Trooper. Really cool looking figure. Again, not the greatest of articulation, but it's a cool looking figure. Um, yeah, I'd love to kit out one of the uh, Black Series ones to look like this. Give him all the bits and bits and pieces to look like this. It's almost like a precursor to Rex. Uh, so here is a more modern vintage collection figure. It's the Arc Trooper Commander, but this one is known to Clone Wars fans as Captain Fordo. Uh, this is his Phase 2 appearance. This figure came with the ability to turn him into Phase 1 or Phase 2. So, uh, absolutely fantastic figure. And, you know, if Hasbro were to put this out again, he would sell like hotcakes. Um, but, yeah, I went with my favourite sort of look. I just love that clone helmet. It just looks so much different than uh, just the Phase 1. And uh, he did get a... He did get his own unique head sculpt for this figure as well so he's really cool I, I do love that helmet blasters blaster pistol there awesome figure so part of the series that we also got adapted into the modern Clone Wars series was a battle between the Mon Calamari and the Quarren um, unfortunately I don't have the Quarren soldier that is one I would love to get um, there is like a shirtless Quarren uh, but here we have a Mon Calamari. Uh, he's got like his uh, shell rifle. Uh, I think this was like just a shell horn. I can't. I can't actually remember. But I love that they sort of adorn themselves with uh, armors, use, armor using shells. Uh, this is a big shield. But it's a really cool figure. I love his feet. And his legs. His hands are a little less uh, Mon Calamari-like. I guess they are. It's just because they're curled around there. Uh, they look a little bit more human. But uh, yeah, really great figure. I love that one a lot. Uh, so we have this guy here. This is Volvif Mon. So they took the uh, Wolfman that was cut out of a uh, New Hope Special Edition and they uh, used his species to make a Jedi. And this is what we came up with. And this is a great figure. I reckon I paid about 14 or 15 bucks for this a couple of years ago. I got it for an absolute steal. But uh, this guy goes for a little bit more than that these days. If you're lucky enough to get it for a cheap price, jump on it. Because he's a great figure. Good articulation on this one as well. Just a... He's just a wolfman, basically. <laughs> wolfman with a lightsaber. Now, I've completely forgotten this guy's name, um, but this is a repack of... Well, it's a reuse of the uh, Muff Tack figure from Power of the Force. But this time, they've given him some big old Jedi boots, a Jedi robe, and, of course, a lightsaber. guy can be seen in the series just a great alien <laughs> all right so here's dirge this is the uh, character i was saying that they've just brought back into canon uh he has a couple of appearances a couple of different looks uh there was a comic pack that came with an anakin uh that had a slightly different dirge i think he might have been more articulated and he had big claws as well um but this guy's a little bit more, you know, armed to the teeth. He's got the jet pack, just jet thrusters. He's got, he's got his little ball and chain stuff there. Rifle, pistols, everything you can think of. He's got the uh, mythosaur skull. 
can't remember the relevance in the old EU. Um, but with the new dirge, he hasn't got that, but he has a similar sort of, they've used like a blue, um, sort of marking, but it's not the Mythosaur skull. So they've sort of taken some liberties in changing his appearance a little bit, which is great. I love that they can still sort of pick him, pick, pick from the EU, the old expanded universe, and put it into the new canon. Because it's a treasure trove for great characters like dirge. Now, if you remember the series, uh, Obi-Wan led a speeder bike battalion of clones against a squad of IG Lancer droids, and this is one of them. Um, so here he has his big lance, which should technically be able to clip onto his arm, but I've never been able to do that. Um, I think mainly because they've sort of just used a few parts from an IG-88 and, uh, you know, they've just given him the weapon. But I love the sort of the shoulders, the spikes at the shoulders, the sort of different head. It's almost like a medieval IG, IG-88, IG unit. But I think they're, technically I think they're IG-60 something? IG-66? I can't remember. But uh, yeah, this one was probably one of my, my most recent additions. Um, yeah, I'd love to get another one of him. But uh, yeah, Obi-Wan came with one of these as well, which is uh, on the shelf. So here's a real live-action version of Anakin. And it's actually a decent head sculpt. Um, there have been far, far worse ones <laughs> um, for, for sort of a Revenge of the Sith Anakin. Uh, this time he's got the tattoos of the Nelvan. Um, he basically go, undergoes a trial. Um, he has these, body, these like tattooing leeches crawl across his body and he ends up with these tattoos. Um, the thing I do like is the robotic arm there, which is cool. I like the sort of mustard yellow, yellow pants. Yeah, he sort of goes by a trial of passage and uh, sees, has a sort of a vision of the future. Um, and they sort of played with that idea again in the Mortis trilogy in the Clone Wars in season three. Um, but that was cool. And here we have Padme, known as, she kind of gets, you know, known in fandom as uh, Snow Bunny Padme. It's just the sort of outfit. She goes to Ilum with Yoda. And uh, they fight, a, fight some chameleon droids. There's a pack with these. Um, yeah, it's not a bad Padme. I like the sort of, the fluffy uh, cuffs at the top of the boots and on the uh, gloves around the hood. It's not the best head sculpt, but uh, for the time, it's probably not too bad. All right, speaking of Yoda, this is one of my favourite things. Uh, Yoda in the clone in this Clone Wars was absolutely fantastic, and I love this interpretation of him. I love the ears poking through the hood. Um, I love the sort of little utility belt he has there wearing around his waist. And he's riding the Kaibuck. That's what this uh, creature is. And Yoda's just fallen off, so he can stay there. And this guy is really hard to stay up because he's in an awkward stance. And, uh, yeah, he's a, a little top-heavy. But uh, we'll, we'll take a look because uh, some, uh, some of the sculpting and design work on this figure are absolutely incredible. Again, articulation is limited to... Uh, head, sort of arms and legs, and the tail does spin as well. Uh, so a little bit more articulation might be able to get this guy to stand a little bit better, but um, it's fine. It's uh, I use a stand; it helps. It's almost like a uh, shave torn torn, <laughs> like a ram or something, as opposed to like a sheep. I don't know. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the saddle has a peg on it. I like these sort of markings are on the chest. If I had my Oribesh thing in front of me, I could uh, read that, but I can't actually remember. <laughs> Alright, so I'll put them aside. We'll get another look at Yoda. He has a little lightsaber holster on his back too. But yeah, I love this little Yoda. Again, not the best articulation, but uh, you know, it's a cool figure. sits on the sits displays well with the uh, Kai Buck, and uh, yeah, he comes from the 30th anniversary collection. 
So here we have three separate interpretations of one of my favourite characters. Um, we can all be thankful for this series for introducing us to Asajj Ventress. And we have three different versions. Uh, this one here is not bad. I like the sort of figure and the sculpt and so itself. I believe that all these three figures sort of use base elements of each other. But this, uh, at least two of them do, but... Uh, yeah, you know, I, I much prefer uh, sort of her markings and facial tattoos and stuff in the modern Clone Wars. But uh, this is a good figure, you know, like soft goods, no knee articulation, but uh, you know, it's a cool look. And then we have this version of her where I've only got one one of her lightsabers. Again, similar head sculpt, probably not super menacing. But um, it's all right. Again, not great articulations. Pretty basic. Nah, uh, swivels at the arms there. No knee articulation. Uh, the cape's kind of cool. And under that, sort of just the sort of flowing robes as well. You can pop that cape off if you remove her head. Uh, the lightsaber hilt sort of just rests on the uh, thingamajig there. But uh, yeah, I'm a big big fan of Asajj Ventress, um, but this is the figure that I absolutely love. Uh, this has got to be one of my all-time favourites. I just, the sort of white eyes with the black sort of shadow around it. You know, they've gone this really, really stunning sort of feminine form, but she's just so brutal. Again, I don't think the articulation's quite there on this figure. Uh, no knee articulation or anything. But I, I just absolutely love the sort of the flowing gown. The lightsaber holders there. Just the sculpt of that. Some blue tack stuck on it. Uh, the colour, it's like it's almost got like a like a bronzy, shimmery wash over. It looks great. I love the belt. Focus. Well, let's try that again. Great details on this figure. But yeah, extremely beautiful female form. You know, just a complete badass. I love the way she's holding out her lightsabers. There's better articulation. Uh, there goes a lightsaber. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, only has the swivel elbows, but, uh, you know, this would be a customizer's delight to get this one to uh, pose up super well. So yeah, big, big Asajj Ventress fan. Love her character, absolutely amazing. And we'll round up this video with the, this with the Unleashed line from 2002, 2003. Star Wars Unleashed, there were basically some static statues. And uh, yeah, we've got Asajj running through like a mess of vines. You can almost imagine this being like a Dathomir perhaps. We repaint them red. You can make it look like Dathomir. Some leaves blowing in the smoke. There were some great statues in this line. Um, and I got this one when I was over at Star Wars Celebration. Uh, I think it was in Orlando I got this one. And yeah, I got a really good deal on it. But uh, again, that face is just so good. I love like, the billowing sort of Bits of the waistband there, looks fantastic. The lightsabers look absolutely deadly. <laughs> when she's holding them behind her, I just love that sort of leaping, bounding forward, like it's just so much power. <laughs> it's seriously incredible. There's one piece of art where it's uh, a Sergeant Count Dooku and she's sort of wrapped around him um, with her blades. It's almost like a romantic look, but uh, you know, obviously there's, there was no romance there. If anything, she she may have thought so, but uh, yeah, she's a uh, tortured soul, but uh, just a complete badass. All right, folks, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, I'd love to get a hold of some more of these figures from this uh, from this line, but uh, stay tuned to Disney Plus because it will be there very very soon. 
let me know in the comments what you think. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, hit the notification bell so you can get the uh, videos hitting your phone or computer straight away. Or at least it will tell you that they're there. Alright folks, thanks very much for watching again. Until my next video, may the force be with you always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get on it.